Hello folks and welcome to the show. Uh, thank you guys for returning back to this channel again. Uh, if you remember last week we did some of the shows of the arcade machines that I have back here. The aging of the arcade machines. Uh, the two oldest that I said in my video before this one are Centipede and Street Fighter. So today we're going to show, I'm going to show you Centipede and its game plays as well as control buttons and the rollerball and show you the functionality of it. Now it is aging, it's four years old, it has some nits and cuts in the uh, deck protector as well as the deck itself. So now I'm going to show you guys how the buttons and rollerball are still working because these machines are old. Um, as I said in the video, these things does age in time and if you do a lot of gameplays on them, they do tend to put a lot of wear and tear into them. So right now we are going to play them, uh, just the Centipede uh, version, we're going to play Centipede, Missile Command, Crystal Castle, and Millipede, as well as Centipede itself. And you guys are going to see how well the controls are, if they still well, if they still, if it's struggling. Uh, the buttons and everything we're going to see if, they, if it's still functioning. Uh, so everybody sit back, grab the popcorn, get ready for a nice uh, viewing of the gameplay and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, and welcome back again, folks. And uh, as you can see now, we're in front of the Centipede arcade machine. Um, like you said, you can see the deck um, is all fading, got chips and cuts, and the uh, deck protector has a lot of scratch marks in it. But today, we're gonna show, uh, like I said, gameplay to show that the roller is still working, which is, used to be smooth, but you can hear the little roughness in it, the scraping because uh, it is getting old so this is going to be upgraded pretty soon as well as the buttons are going to be upgraded pretty soon I mean, you can still hear the clicking but these are going to be upgraded pretty soon now the gameplay we're going to be doing on this one is going to be centipede as well I'm going to show a little bit of missile command with the roller ball still and crystal castle and a little bit of the millipede um, so that way you guys can still see that after four years um, a lot of this stuff is still working it may not be working the best as when you first got out of the box but in time uh, they do wear and tear and then uh, but they as long as they still function it's pretty good but like I said it will be getting upgraded to a bigger and better uh, deck so Let's get this thing started. Hit player one. Shouldn't have went up under that spider. I was trying to be greedy.
As you can hear, I got a free man. Ah! Oh. Right when I get a free man, I die. Got me. See if I can get a freebie before I die. Woo! Oh. I get a freebie right when I die. Oh. So as you can see, the controls on here still works. Uh, the rollerball is still a little bit smooth. You can still feel the roughness a little bit, but it still has some smooth and good reaction to it. Um, you know, when Spider comes out, I'm able to jerk the control down to not run into him. So it still has this quick response but the fire button can be a little bit slow. Even when holding it down for a long time just to do rapid firing, it still has its little hiccups. That's why with the new upgraded buttons that I will put on here, it may be a little bit more responsive than what it is right now. Okay, so let's get out of here. Hold this down for a couple of seconds. And let's try Missile Command, which Missile Command I rarely play uh, I was never a Missile Command fan, but I remember playing this back in the days. So let's go. Now remember, it's the use of the roller ball and all three buttons. Oh, lost well, one city. Lost the base. So I lost one city and one base. Well, oh, already got a freebie. Game back a city. Now you do a line. Fast.
So I lost three cities. Four cities. <laughs> Not bad, got a high score. Lost the base again. Still got two bases. Gain the city. Lost the base again. Lost all the cities. Game over. And I get to have my name put up. But I can do have high score. This is the first time I put high score because I don't really play Missile Command that much. So this would be my first time putting my name up here. Come on. And I got first place. So that's not bad. So once again, you get the fluidity of the roller ball. Still, like I said, has that roughness because this ball is old and it's the original ball from the RK one up um, system. So um, it's not the upgrade version of the ball that I want. Now the upgrade version of this track ball that I want is a little bit bigger and it lights up. And so I think it would be pretty cool on this deck. So the hole that you see now for it, this whole deck will be replaced but the hole will be a lot bigger and the buttons will be a little bit more over and then the one player and two player buttons will be up here and it will be light up too, it will be light up buttons like the original arcade machine was um, so that's the upgrade on that one so let's exit out of this one once again I gotta hold it for a couple of seconds and let's go over the crystal castle <clears throat> Now, I don't play Crystal Castle at all. I think this is like one of the dumbest games ever. But um, my daughter plays it because she likes the bear. She likes the little bear. So uh, let's get this one started. The whole object is to collect all the dots and not get those bowling ball creatures to touch you. It looks like I'm about to get caught. You can jump over them to get out of situations, but sometimes it doesn't help. So I got all the dots before they was able to get me. So now I'm on a different level. And now you have the trees trying to get you. And that little brown buzz was the bees. So they can get you too. So you gotta watch out. Oh, watch out for the trees. Watch out for the bees. Woo! And I finished that level. So now you got these kooky little aliens and skeletons that are going to try to get you or stop you from collecting all the dots. Oh, got killed. Gotta watch out for the skeleton. They're going to try to get you. I do have one more. Ooh. There you go. Play that one. This way. What this way?
Wait, can't go that way. He's gonna try to get me. He's gonna try to get me. Whoa. I think they got me trapped because he's eating all the dots. Yeah, he ate all the dots. So, I have to. Oh! Oh, watch out for the bees. Watch out for the bees. Ah, oh, the bee got me. So that was fun. Sort of. Uh, so I get my name on this one. I come in 134th place. Like I said, I don't really play this game at all. So whenever you can get your name on the game, it's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to exit out of that one. And we're going to head over to Millipede. Now Millipede, I do play this a lot. Because it's the second game after Centipede. And I think this is a little bit more faster, my speed. And more enjoyable. But I always will like the first Centipede game. That's always going to be my first. If you don't know what the DDT is, it's like some kind of gas. So you wait until they get too close to the DDT and you blow it up and it'll kill all the centipedes in one shot. If you're lucky, you can get them all in one shot. Like me, half the time I do miss. Now in this one, you do get bonus rounds that you have to complete. They can give you extra points. See like that? See how I just blew them all up? See, this is the bonus round right here. Whoa! Ah! Went right into that little, little monster. Like I said, this one is a little bit more tougher than the original Centipede because you got so many things trying to kill you other than just the spider. They said I DDT for nothing. Come on. Come on. And then when you hit those worms, you see how it goes slow down time? It's supposed to give you an opportunity to try to catch up, kill all the things when it's slow down time. But I messed up on that one. Whoa. Ah, I need to clear that section. That section was killing me. Ah, and I got a free one right when I died on the last one.
<laughs> and I don't get a name on this one because I didn't get too high of a score. But as you can see, like I said once again on this game, still the ball still has some groove to it. You can still hear the scrapes a little bit of it's rubbing on the magnetic or the metal piece underneath, not the magnetic, but the metal piece underneath. Um, so you can tell it's old. But like I said, the react the time reaction are good. It's the same as the centipede, so it still works well to me. Um, once again, the button is still it's the factory stock button for RK One Up. So these buttons does sucks when you get them out of the box with the RK One Up machine. It's best to just upgrade these buttons to be more faster, more uh, arcade response to when you play the game so now you got to, you guys got to see all three games or all four games so let me give you my final thoughts hello folks and welcome to my final thoughts as you can see the uh, controls for the road on the centipede works pretty well as well as and even though it's scraping on the metal and you can hear a little bit of the scraping when you roll the ball but the buttons can definitely be worked on, can be changed because it does have a little delay. Even when holding it down, it has that little delay when shooting. But all in all, it still works pretty good for an arcade machine that is four years old. Um, you can get these arcade machines at Walmart right now for $2.99. Um, I think that's a good deal compared to some people who are selling these for like a thousand dollars but it's a good steal if you want to have a classic centipede in your house um, I would go for it but then once you have it I would say do all the cosmetic upgrades which is the roller and the buttons because sometimes you may get a really bad set from RK 1UP and you have to place the whole controller deck to get um, a new set of buttons and roll them. Um, me, I could just switch them out and then redo the wiring and stuff like that and just have a whole new ball. But the size roller ball that I want will not fit that original hole for the original deck of the centipede console of the RK 1UP machine. So I would have to get a whole new deck that will fit that rollerball, especially with the light-up version. Um, so that whole deck, even the protector will be replaced. Um, and it's very hard right now to even find a, a, a deck protector. Um, there's a very few third parties that will still sell them. Um, so they're very, very hard to get. Uh, you'd be very lucky if you could get them. But if you wanna take the chance and not get the deck protector, um, and not have the decals on it protected. Uh, just remember, don't use solution, don't put drinks on them, don't put bottles of water, anything that's a wet solution on the deck on the deck because you will rub out the decals and then the deck will look really, really bad, disgusting. Just rubbing the whole stuff off. Then you have to replace the whole thing and who wants to drop, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks, whatever the deck protector will, uh, decks will cost to replace it. Uh, who wants to constantly keep spending that money? That's why we have deck protectors. And even with deck protectors, you still don't want to put drinks and stuff on on your arcade machine. Arcade machines are not cup holders. They're not meant for that. They're meant to for show and tell, to entertain your guests or your family members or you know entertain your kids on the theory of having arcade machines and playing all night and having a family night just playing arcade machines. Um, I buy these, I get these machines because it shows my kids what I played when I was their age um, before consoles even came out. Um, I mean, in New York City, this is what we kids always did was run to arcade machines and play arcades all day long. You know, and then when Atari 2600 came out, um, that kind of slightly put a dip into uh, decline and going to the arcade machines. And then when 5200 and then 
or you know, then uh, Sega and then Nintendo and all them stuff to come out, it killed the arcade industries. And then here it is, years later, decades later, you get Arcade One Up, who wants to bring out miniature four foot machines, arcade machines, replicas of the original arcade because they know people cannot afford to buy the original arcade. The white has that kind of money to drop three, four grand for original arcade machine. Unless you have money and you make six figures, and yeah, you know, you'll drop it, but not many people have that kind of money. So for Arcade One Up to come up with these arcade machines, I think is awesome. They just need to come down with the price a little bit. I think you can make a lot more money with reasonable prices than to jack the price up and make very little. I mean, there's, there's a lot of us that likes to have these arcade machines and many more in their home to entertain friends and family. Um, but the, the amount of money that they want for some of these machines is just totally ridiculous. I think you just need to come down the price a little bit. But in all, it doesn't stop me from finding sales. And, uh, and when I do find a sale, I don't care how old the machine is, Every YouTuber is going to review and post up these machines because they get them right then on the spot, dropping six, seven hundred dollars, and they do a review on it. I show my review on what I think of them and how it is compared to what I dealt with them in arcade machines, in the arcade room, um, the arcade room, in the arcade place, actually. Um, but like I said, the decals and the designs are a little bit fairly close to what the originals are, but they'll never be originals. They will never. Um, but you get close to what the originals are. Like I said, this is why they call replicas. These are uh, copies of the originals. So to have these in your house affordable, as they should be, some of them are. I mean, like, look, you get Pac-Man for $3.99. Simpsons right now they drop they dropped it down from six ninety nine to three ninety nine now because Walmart is liquidizing liquidating they they units they have too many in stock and they're not selling so they're liquidating and they slashing prices to get these things out the door um, and then you have centipede cabinet like I said was two which is two ninety nine and you know even Terminator tubes dropped down from six ninety nine to four ninety nine have too many units you want to get rid of them so this would be the perfect time to want to go and buy uh, arcade machines they are a hundred dollars more than what they was when they first came out when they first came out it was $2.99 $3.99 a hundred dollars more I think it's still a good deal um, so if you can afford to drop $3.99 be my guest get one uh, have a whole collection if you could I mean to have these things in your house is awesome to me uh, and I'm sure many other YouTubers out there who has a whole set of these things. I see one guy on his YouTube channel, he's got all these machines in his house. And he, he did not miss a beat. He got every arcade one up from the originals to the remakes to the, now he's moving to the XL cabinets, which is now the XLs are coming out. And he's getting those. So this guy got plenty of room to do it. Um, but this is his enthusiasm to loving arcade machines. And um, I have that too, but I don't have the money like that to be dropping every single time. Um, hope I did order Terminator 2, Judgment Day. I'm hoping it will be here on Wednesday. But like I say, being out here in the middle of the desert in a small town, Sometimes they say, yeah, I'll be here Wednesday, and then they wind up not coming until the following week. Um, deliveries up here is pretty slow, especially being out in the middle of nowhere. So, um, so I wouldn't count my bridges on getting it on that Wednesday. But Terminator 2 Judgment Day Cabinet is coming. I will have it. When it does get here, I will put it together and give you my thoughts and how I feel about the Terminator 2. Because I remember that in the arcades playing that and uh, showing it off and giving you a couple gameplays on that one as well. So, 
for all you YouTubers out there that's been watching this channel, you tell me what is your favorite cabinet, uh, how many games do you have on each cabinet, and are you looking to get any more cabinets? And of those who are pre-ordering already, or who already bought the NFL Blitz, please let me know how you feel about the NFL Blitz. Do you like it? Uh, what you don't like about it? Uh, what could be different? Uh, how the control decks are? Because right now it's hard for me to get it because it's, every time I try to get it, it's sold out. And uh, it's like very few stores up here have it. And Walmart up here is not carrying any more arcade one-up machines in a store. You have to order them online and when you go online, they totally gone. So I would like to know for you guys, for those who have the NFL Blitz, uh, what do you think about the NFL Blitz? Do you like it? What could be changed? What could be different? Uh, how the controls feel on the NFL Blitz? I would like to know in the comment section down below. Uh, so once again, thank you everybody for watching this channel. If you're new, please hit subscribe. Uh, if you like this uh, video, please hit the like, you know, hit that like button and then hit the notification bell so that way you'll be tuned in to every time I throw out a video. Uh, next week, Monday, we will be doing the Street Fighter 2 and we will be doing some gameplays on that one. That also is a four-year-old cabinet and we'll get to see some gameplays on that. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Have a great night, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time on the James Den Show at Arcade 1-Up.